Hello everyone, today is July 19th, 2013, and 38 years ago today, a man was born, <coughs> excuse me, hang off a little bit of cold folks, <coughs> in Setagaria, Tokyo, that most of you probably have not heard of. Now when I say most of you, I mean most of the people that will probably watch this video on my YouTube channels, my friends and followers alike on other forms, in my other forms of social media, they know who this is already. He goes by the full name of Eruji Komijo. His stage name is Komijiro. And he's performed in two different bands. One is in fact, this band, Lorraine. And the other one is, of course, this band, which is the Versailles Philharmonic Quintet, otherwise known as just Vers Versailles in Japan. But for legal reasons in this country, they had to go with that name. By the way, those legal reasons, I so they don't have to pay another band. Because there actually is another band called Versailles. Anyways, I want you to think about something. If you had probably told this gentleman in, you know, on the, on the day he was born, you're going to destined to potentially become one of the greatest musicians in your country and have a following around the world. The likes of which I had, <clears throat> excuse me, I have never heard of. I would have told you, he probably would have told you you were nuts. And if you had told me about, let me think, 13 years ago, that I would start, that I would be starting to follow this gentleman and going through his career and finding out different facets. I would have told you you were crazy. Tonight I am making this video because you see I need your help. Well, I need your help to help promote this artist within this country, the United States of America. You see, Komajio is very well known in Japan. That's a given fact. Having performed with Lorraine, also Versace, and another band called <clears throat> New Sodomy, also did the session band Note of Sherezo. <clears throat> he is by far, and I have said this, probably one of the greatest I will ever see greatest showman, frontman in my day. And I've heard a lot of music. But for whatever reason in this country, we have not been able to see him again since 2008 when the rain was here in the first time. Turns out promoters are a little bit leery, afraid, or scared of him. Who knows why? Could be a couple of reasons. Maybe introverted, but you know what? I've said this. Okay, if he's introverted, guess what? So it's about a thousand other musicians out there today. Is there some other thing that he has that promoters don't like? Don't know, because to this day, nobody has been able to really get it out of any promoters in this country and it's a shame you see <clears throat> the man has a talent that I've never been able to see from anyone before to be quite honest 
I've given him the term the conductor of emotions because, like a conductor, he can bring you up and he completely can level you out. But in a good way. He's made it so that, let's be honest, I've wanted to listen to music. And if, it, if I didn't discover A, Japanese music, or even B, this artist, guess what? We would not be hearing me even talk about music because I, I would have swore off completely. That's just a fact. Now then, let me show you all something. This that I'm going to show you right now is a flyer in which a friend of mine, her name is Tori, uh, she goes by the name on Tumblr as <clears throat> Pure Harmonium, or if you look for her on uh, Twitter, her handle is Bonjour Honey, and I can't do it nearly as good as this guy because that used to be his trademark, believe it or not, when he was in Lorraine. And our goal, or their goal actually, I'm just helping with the street team, is to create an awareness for this artist here in the United States and to make it so that we can get the word out that there are fans out there that want to see him. We know that there's people in Japan that want to see him and probably also Latin America where, suspiciously enough, the premiers there have said he has been the kindest person and easy to get along with. So what gives? This is where you come in. See, <clears throat> the street team, put this down for a second. The street team is attempting to get the message out. Now some, for some people, it's going to be easier because they can drive around the place. This is my best way, my best medium, as well as Twitter and Tumblr, to give you why, my view, why I feel he needs to be able to come here. And it's very simple. As I've mentioned, he is probably one of the greatest performers I have gotten a chance to see in the past decade. And that's saying something. Because let me f tell you, I've listened to music for about 26 years. Eh, maybe 27. Since I was about 6. And I've never, never, never heard an artist with as much passion, theatrics, yes, but emotion also, as this man. Well, maybe Phil Collins, but that's a totally honest man. That's a whole other animal. This man deserves the chance to come here. But for whatever reason, we haven't been able, nobody's been able to convince the promoters, yo, get this guy over here. There is a video that is currently out. This is teaser for, to show you again, teaser for this single. It's actually on his YouTube channel, which is Colin Geo Official, which I will put a link in the description of this video <clears throat> if you're seeing this on YouTube. Now, this single comes out August 28th. All three versions have made the top three of the daily rankings and have been in the top of the Barks rankings in Japan. I think I want to see him do it successful over here. What I need you to do is this. There is a Facebook page which is labeled on here which I will give you the address to right now. You go to www.facebook.com backslash comageo.us and quite simply join the page because guess what kids this is how we're going to 
This is one of the possible ways we're going to be able to show the promoters, we want you here. We want them here, yo. And this is one of the few times in the music scene that I have been able to say that I've been quite passionate and quite vocal about this with a friend of mine on Skype. And I am bound and determined to help to get this man to the United States. I am bound and determined to be able to see him live, live in a performance <clears throat> for the first time. Because unfortunately I didn't get that chance in 2008 because I didn't know about them in 2000. In 2008. I didn't know about Versailles in 2008, unfortunately. And that's a shame. It's a goddamn shame. It's kind of like one of those, oh, how I wish I knew situations. Well, it's the truth. And this is why I'm not making that mistake, and I'm making sure that I inform all of you about it. Because in order to get him here, we need to educate and to inform the audience. A man who started his... A man who, while he was starting his music career, was working in pubs and restaurants and, yes, even a 7-Eleven, is now probably, you can argue, one of the most popular members of the currently on hiatus band Versailles. You could make that argument. And the numbers unfortunate the numbers will bear it out. To date at the last time I checked at the recording of this video, Comagio's trailer for Louis for Louis has over 40,000 views on his personal YouTube page. 40. 40 grand. And he hit 20 in about 24 hours. But you know that probably a good portion of that is from Japan. So again, Here's, the, here's our mission, and this is what I want your help with. Take this video, and I want you to share it with every person you can find. On YouTube, I want you to take this and put this on your Facebook pages if you want to. Because we need to take this video, and we need to make it known to every American promoter out there that this man needs to come to the US. Oh! And if you want some examples of some of his brilliance, and I mean that not in a sarcastic manner, there'll be some links to some of the videos in which I have particularly been fond of since I have encountered this man when he was since I've counted some of the videos from when he was in Lorraine. And I do hope that you watch them. And I do hope that you enjoy them. Because you see, <clears throat> I firmly believe that this country needs a music renaissance. And I think an artist like Comagio could be a very good helper in it along with all the other bands like Dead and Grey, maybe an Exit Trace, Perfume if they can get here. But again, we are the people that do work on the street team, and even myself, we can't do it without your help. The question is, are you willing to? I hope so. Otherwise, a man who is probably, like I said, one, I'll repeat this one more time, a man who is one of the greatest performers I've ever encountered in any way, shape, or form will never get the chance to perform here in the United States. And that will bother me.
that will bother me and it should bother you if you don't get to see him. Okay? I think I've said my piece and I hope that you at least understand the message. So, in closing, my name is Joshua Curtis. I hope that you took the time to watch this video entirely, and I hope that you will help in getting this artist, and help promoting this artist, and showing the promoters that yes, we do want him here in the United States. Take care, gang.